If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. If you have anything to say, do it in the comments below. And as always, be excellent to each other. Have a great day. See you later. That's right. Every time I zoom in, I do this thing. Because... Hey there, folks. Maisie out reporting for duty. And today, we're going to do some building of the land pen. I've gathered all the things that I need to build the land pen. And actually, open outward, please. And so we're going to put some of the stuff on a Maisie awning, and we're going to get to work. And I've got... I'll show you what I got. I shouldn't tell you what I got until we can look at it. And now we're going to look at it, and here it is. I made 845 wood walls, uh, 418 of these fence foundations and some ceilings and spiked walls and some uh, pillars. Yes, pillars. So I've made all of these things because um, I need to, there's some stuff I need to do. Oh, did I, where are, did I show those other things that I made? Oh, there they are. Behemoth gates. We needed some behemoth gates too. So we're right next to here. Can you take these things, please? Uh, thank you uh, so very much. And then I need to get these, and let's grab, I don't know, 18 of these for the time being. Maybe some walls, too. Weight's not too high yet. We can do it. We can do it. Walls. 45 of those. Sweet. All right, so we're good to go to get this thing started. And so we're. it's going to be a continuation of... Oh, no, I went too low. Oh, great. Quetzals are awesome. Uh, continuation of this water pen area. But I'm going to put the behemoth gate on top of it. On top of this pen. Um, now, as you probably are aware, dinos can see through these uh, uh, these pillars here like this. So if you had another dino on this side and a T-Rex came over here for whatever reason, not that we're ever worried about T-Rexes around here, they could come through here or you know not come through here they could see through here and then see a dino and try to eat it on the other side so i'm not sure um it's gonna be good but we're gonna try it anyway and when i say it's gonna be good what i mean is man i still got all this thatch on me i probably should have got that off before i started the job today but that's all right so what i mean is we're going to go ahead and Bring this over to the land so that the behemoth gate can be as close to land as possible. I wanted a flat spot, and nothing up here is flat. There's no flatness to this area. This is where I would ideally have it, but since there's no flatness, we're going to bring it over as far as possible. Give me some pillars, please, right now. There they are. Another couple ceilings. Another couple uh, pillars. No, don't drink water. Make, no, water. Pillar. Thank you. And then one. Can we do another one? No. So that is the end. Oh, there. Of what we can do. So we're going to have to put the behemoth gate like right here-ish or so. And we're going to have to use ramps to get up and up and through the behemoth gate. So let's see. And actually, I should probably first, and what we'll do is we got to make sure that the ramps are going to actually work. Sometimes if the ramp is too close to the ground, it will not so, do you have... You do. Do I have... I don't. All right. So, I need fiber. Do you have fiber? He does have fiber. Amazing. And then you've got wood. Amazing woodness. And give me some ramps. Amazing rampiness. Ramp, I said. Sweet four. Man, that's not a lot of ramps. Two. I need more ramps than that. Beaver, go. It's beaver go time. So, side action has been out with me all day beavering. And, uh... She's an amazing beaver. She does a great job. Very, very good. So, more wood. Amazing. Just like that. Quick wood beaver. Beaver wood. Ramp. With a P. I can't believe that all those things have ram in them. I don't believe it. All right. So, I should have enough now. I should be good to go. And I should be able to move quite fine. Let's throw this into the slot and then we're gonna go you know i probably am gonna need 16 ramps not 14. see where we can place them i bet i cannot place one there nope i cannot but i can place one right there one right there 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 keep going 
So that should be how wide this gate is. I want to make sure that I can do the same thing on the other side. I can. Look at that. What? Who would ever place a ramp like that? Why? Why, why, why would that ever be a thing? It is not a thing. No one's doing that. The cool kids are all putting the ramps like this. All right. So I still need another couple ramps. No biggie. Um, I probably should actually put them down first. I wonder if I'm going to have a problem placing the gate because of the ramps. I probably could test that right now. Give me a gate, please. Let's test and make sure that we can do it in this order. We can. The gate wants to go through the ceilings. That is quite odd. Quite odd indeed. It does not want to go on top. Do not know why. But that'll be fine too. Oh, now it wants to go on top. I see how you are. Something like that. And it doesn't look like we need the eighth one. Actually, we don't need a lot of these ramps. But it's fine. So, first what we're going to do is make these last two ramps. Let's go and, and find our beaver... Oh, I can't say beaver box anymore. Our beaver side action. I need two more ramps, please. Can you make that a thing that I... Ramps. R-A-M-P. Must have the P. Two more ramps. Good to go. No, I didn't want to put T up. Ah! I opened up other windows. Okay. This new keyboard has one of those music windows. Uh, m music windows. Music buttons on it, and it opens up my iTunes. And, uh, yeah. I'm not sure why. I wouldn't want that, but all the same, it's happening. Four. Bam. All right, so we've got the same amount on each side. We don't need that amount, but whatever. So now we need to line up straight. We're going to line up the top of the screen with these to get it pretty straight. And press K. And put this out. That was not straight at all. That's terrible. Move to the left. Also not good. Move to the right. Getting better. Right. People are screaming, use the fence foundations. And I'm like, no. I do not like to place things that way. I like to place things uh, this way. We're almost there. Almost good. Very close. All right, this is good. This is it right here. We're totally going to behemothize this area with a gate. Behemothize. It's a word I created. Amazing. And it makes nonstop rocking possible. Bam. All right. So let's see how this looks. That is going to be good enough. So next one, remember... Bring it out a little bit farther. But now I need a door. Can I have a door, please? Thank you so much for your behemoth gate door. Bam! So this is the gate that will allow other players on the island to come through my area. Not the most ideal, but it will still work. And I'm glad that it's not here. So... This last ceiling I do not need. Demolish. Demolish. Did I bring fence foundations? I did. Amazing yawning. You can have this back and that back. I would like some of these. Amazing. So now I need to try to make this as straight as possible. Facing to the left because the outer wall will be on the left hand side. And so, there, uh, I just want to cover, there might be an issue we run into. When you're going up slope, sometimes these fences do not like to do their work. They do not like to do their job appropriately. They don't want to snap in. That one wanted to. Very good. Snappy. Snap again. Snap. Doing good. Oh, I think I've run into a rock. You are a rock. Oh, 
Can you break, please? Amazing. I can't. I can't see. It looks good. Still going. Now we're getting to the steep part of the hill where things might not be happy. I can't get it to do what I want it to do. This is where you run into issues. These are the issues I am talking of. See if I can do it this way. Other side. Other side, please. All right, so. This is the problem that you can run into where they do not want to work. And if you want to make it work, you have to do it by eye. Which can be kind of a pain. See if we can stick walls on there. Nope. See? Big big problem. Not happy. Not, no, I'm happy. This this is not happy. So let's see if we can do this again. And actually, I'm going to put the wall down. And then we're going to butt up to the wall. Yes, I said butt. Oh! Get... Go away! Thank you. I'm going to make it overlap just a little bit. Like that. You can place the wall now. You can. Amazing. Perfect. That'll work. We're going to continue up in this direction. And so we got to make a decision here. I kind of want the wall to come over to this cliff. And then I want to use spiked walls on the cliff to deter things from coming in here. So in order to do that, we're going to have to make a turn at some point. I think we're going to do it right here. But I can't make it turn the way that I... There it is. Boom. Just like that. We've got to turn. More foundations. More foundations. All right. So let's get all the way near-ish to the wall. And I think I'm going to make another turn when we get there. You are a big rock. And now you're a big destroyed rock. You're a tree. And now you're a destroyed tree. And then more stuff. All right, we're getting there. Only brought 18 of these things. We're close. Let's see what happens. You're a big in the way rock. All right. Making more fence foundations. Are we there yet? We're close. Okay, we're close. All right. Now let's see if I can turn it. Oh. I wonder if I'll be able to put a wall on there. Wow. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Perfect. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and build the wall right over to here. And I think, did I grab any spiked walls? Did I grab spiked walls? I did not. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the ridge over there with spiked walls so that nothing can come down into this area. That way I do not need to put any more walls in this direction. So it conserves some of my materials and it makes it so that I only have to, I don't have to build a three high wall up there. All I have to do is build a spiked wall and that should keep things out. So what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to erect the rest of this wall so we can see what it is like, get some spiked walls, and we'll work on that ridge. Oh, no, righty. So I actually broke one of the ceilings uh, because I realized I needed to get rid of these uh, ramps that were on the side because you could just walk over. And when I broke the ceiling, I couldn't replace the ceiling, so I actually had to do the gate over, which made me be able to place it more perfectly, which makes everything great, but I have to make another behemoth gate. So now we've got this nice wall, comes up all the way over to here, and it slides around the corner there. And we've got some spiked walls on Amazioning to work this area out. Take these things, please. Also, give me a half a dose. Yeah, half a dose should be good for now. 
so we're gonna make spiked walls and we want to make sure that we do a good job at making sure nothing can fall down in so we're gonna start over here continue on the ridge as much as possible uh-oh there's there it is bam and so now we need to figure out how to continue that up here Oh, I think that, I think that might be perfect. Oh. Oh, no, go back. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. Stupid. Oh, man, I had it. Oh, it was perfect and everything. Oh, I just had it. Oh, right? Yes, it worked. It's like sideways on the hill. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm very happy with that placement. Whoa, more spiked walliness. So we're just going to continue across the ridge. I wonder, can you build spike walls on rocks? I guess you can, ish. So if we continue, it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be a big problem or anything. Looks like it's going fairly well, to be honest. I'm pretty happy with the results that are occurring. Oh. Ow! Why did you hit me, spiked wall? You're a jerk. Please be destroyed. Thank you so much. All right, so there. Bam. And so I'm not actually sure how far I need to go because I'm not sure how far over the land I'm going to make this whole thing happen. It's going to come quite a ways out. Man. Hopefully these spiked walls don't cause all kinds of weird lag like the rest of my base. So I think I'm just going to keep continue. Whoa. Going down here quite a ways. Um, but we just need to make sure that we have no reason to have any wall there. I'm going to do that and then we'll see what it looks like. All right. So it has been done. Got this ridge line all protected. And I did it a fair ways, probably farther than I'm planning on building. Because I just want to make sure that we're going to be all set. and Nothing's going to fall into the wall and I, I'm not sure how far out here I want to go. I know that later on I'm going to want to have a kibble farm. And I want to try to get it to be kind of far from my base. So the base doesn't load at the same time as the kibble farm. Um, so I might have to do that like right around here somewhere. And all right. Anyway, so I've got enough materials to start the other side over here. We've got some ceilings and pillars. And we've got behemoth gates. And we've got walls and spiked walls and all kinds of things. And so what's going to end up happening... And this flat little thing that we made over here previously will probably end up getting demolished. Base wants to load back in. Eventually, it will. So, got to make a decision over here um, on whether or not I'm going to start the wall structure in the water or not. Because over here, my computer will lock up. And then oh, I probably can put a behemoth gate down on the land and have it be relatively flat. So that is the goal. I was thinking about doing it like right in front of here, actually, like this. And it should be fine. So it's going to be out here a little further along this wall. So i got to make a decision on what I want to do here. Um, and actually, I didn't show you over there. I made an alteration for good measure. And I put some spiked walls on the outside of the water pen. So... If anything does see in there and it tries to get through, it's just going to die. And I put spiked walls along the outside of that, too. So, I like that design. I think it's going to be pretty effective, and it's it's pretty cool. So, we're going to go over here and do kind of the same deal -y. But i got to decide how far in I want that wall to come. And I think I want to try to maybe make it intersect with the land again. So, let's grab up pillars. We're going to have these back. And ceilings. Make it happen. What's up, turtle? Pretty soon, you will not be able to come and go as you please any longer. This domain is my domain. All right, so. I doubt, yeah, I won't be able to do that. So, demolish. Hmm. 
I don't know, man. I kind of, I kind of think I'm going to delete this one too. Now what we need to do is bring a fence over far enough. No, I think that this fence is going to end up curving that way eventually. So let's first grab up some stuff. You can have these things, please. And then grab some of these. You can also have those things. And some of these. Make some magic happen. All right. So I want to do this right on the outside of this wall. That is not close enough. Come on, line things up good, please. Are you close enough? Hmm. Yeah, it'll do. That'll do, pig. I think, yes. Put a wall on it. No, yes. No, I don't like it. Man. Wall? Okay. Okay, I like it. All right, so now we just need to come out straight. Don't know how far I need to come. Oh, this is curving slightly away. No, no, oh no, maybe it's straight. Maybe it's straight. Maybe it's curving slightly away. It's fine. What's up, Compy? Are you going to have friends come? I don't see your friends. Uh-oh, it's too far. Maze Yawning's in the way. I can't really tell what's going on. Boom. Let's have a look. All right, so if we want the Behemoth Gate to be right in front of this, we need to go stab this copy in the face. How are you in the ground? Stop. Hi. Yes, come over here where I can kill you without hitting a maze yawning. Bam, you dead. I say you, he dead. All right, so actually... This is probably going to have to go too. And probably this. All right, let's try it. Where's the behemoth gate? I brought it with me. I brought it with me. Now, people have been saying these will snap defense foundations. When? I want it to snap to this one right here. It'll snap out there. There, it'll snap right there. That's not right. You know what? You know what? I think I'm going to do it just because. Why not? Let's do it just because. That's interesting how that worked out. But now, can I snap a fence foundation to it? Of course you can't. What happened? It snapped in the middle. Okay. That's weird, man. That's weird. This is why I don't mess around with this stuff. I like to do it my way. Boom. Works for me. Did I bring the door or did I just bring the... Yeah, of course I didn't bring a door. No door. There's no reason to have a door. Of course there's a reason to have a door. Weird. Boom. All right, so it's not perfect. There's this little thing, but that's not going to bother me, and it won't bother anybody else either. Or really, rather, it won't uh, impede any sort of functionality. So I'm going to start right here. Oh, you know what? These are all facing the wrong way, aren't they? Can you move? Can you turn walls around on these things now? You can. 
And I have to do it every time, though. That's kind of annoying. But at least it'll be facing the right way. All right, so somewhere around here-ish. No? Nope, not quite. Soon, we need to keep going out a little bit farther. We want to kind of line up with that ridge over there. No! Yes! Get out of the way! You know, it would be lighter if I went for flint instead of stone. Another rock! All right, so now we can kind of see in that direction. There it is. Still not right. Still not facing in the good direction. Continue on. So what I'm going to, I mean, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to bring it out as far as I need to. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> to point the fence foundation at that ridge line over there and that way the walled area will come to that ridge and then we'll put another spiked wall thing on top of there so i'm going to work on that and then uh, i'll show you what i did Alrighty, so this wall has been completed as well and as you can see i put some spiked walls uh outside of that area put a little bit on this side uh but i it didn't end up exactly how i wanted it but it's it's good enough and it's definitely gonna be a bigger area than I planned on. But it's it's all set up. We got some spike walls down there. We got spike walls up there on the ridge to stop things from coming down in. And now all we got to do is make an area that goes straight across from that side to this side, which is interesting in itself. Um, I got to choose an area. I got to choose an area to put the behemoth gate that's going to go over here. And I want to try to intersect with that wall right there. So almost thinking just like right here is where the starting point should be right under this big cliff then i gotta i really gotta like aim right at that other wall there ish or actually i don't have to and just go straight across anywhere over here because it's protected so i gotta find a place where i think that a behemoth gate's gonna fit and where it's gonna be good so let's do that first maybe that should be how we base how we're going to build this side. Can I please have? Jeez, thank you. Must have had a server save just then. All right, so we want it to be here ish. That might not be a bad spot. That. So, eh, yeah, why not? Let's do it. I don't know. <laughs> what about down here on the beach? The beach is a good spot, too. You know what? I think that up here is better. For sure. If we're going to do it, like, right here-ish. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, really, there's no better way to do it than just to do it, right? So I'm thinking, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it right here-ish. Bam! This is going to end up over there-ish. Let me place the first fence foundation. Something like that. We'll do the same thing over here. I have to flip, all, flip them all, however. All right. Where's my door? Give me a door. And this will all look a lot better once... Uh, Everything's been broken out. New oh, there's no little nub under there. I thought there was going to be a space. So this is all, you know, I'm going to leave the dodicarus to wander in here. And some of this will stuff, come, stuff will come back and some of it will not. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so now what I got to do is I got to meet this wall all the way across. I'm going to stop all the critters 
coming through here. Bam. But I think the most interesting part about it is going to be... Did I just do that wrong? I need a couple of walls. I just did... I think I just did something I didn't want to do. Yeah, I don't know how I ended up doing that. It's weird, Mazion. We got some lag going on here today. Click. Thank you. So, like I said, the interesting part is going to be when we reach the water. I got to do this all the way through the water. Come on. Ugh. Oh, no. Swimming. Hopefully I don't run into a Sarko. Sarkos are bad, okay? Man. Where are you going to end up on the other side? Mega Piranha. Rise, no Mega Piranha have tried to eat me yet. Did I do that again? Oh, no, that's good. Bam! So I'm psyched. Finally, we're going to have that land area we've been always wanting. Be able to have... What we'll end up doing is we'll organize all of our dinos out here. Different types. We'll end up breeding and taming more dinos. Doing all kinds of things. Oh, come on. Oh, crap. Like I said, I didn't need quite as big an area as this, but it just kind of worked out that way. Uh-oh. Now we're into the weeds. I hate... Do you guys, like, ever go into a lake and the seaweed, like, comes all the way up to the surface of the water and you're just out there getting ready to, like, ski or do something and, like, it grabs your leg and you're like, oh, my God, that's gross. And then, I mean, that's how I feel about seaweed or, you know, lake weed. Crap. See, this is the kind of stuff that I was going to run into that I... Like me, not all, not all that great, because in the water, you you can't like stop and hold still. All right, good, got it. We're almost across, I think. Yes. Bam. No. Crap. The rock. No, oh, we learned use the pick so we don't get all kinds of rock. Now, should I do a behemoth gate over here too? I don't know. I should look at it and decide. Um, let's go get a behemoth gate. All right, so I went and got my gate and I started to build this wall out a little bit and I came over here and fiddled around to see what I really wanted to do and I kind of got it. I mean, it's flattish right here, and if I K out, oh, then they're stuck in, stuck in there. So I want it to kind of go like this, and go down towards the beach. So I'm going to come back just like this, and place it. And I think, five, right, it works, goes right through there, should be good. Drink in the water. What am I doing? Why am I putting these all the wrong way? Someone's yelling. I was like, what are you doing, Mazion? Anyway, so on the other side here, we're going to have to put a little bit of fence. Here. Get rid of this thing. Oh. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this whole thing up and uh, come back and show you the finished product. All right. Now it's done. Man. So there's the new wall. There's the behemoth gate that goes up towards that way. And there's the behemoth gate that goes out towards that way. There's that wall. And then there's the stuff that's not drawing in because there are too many structures in the area. And then there's the stuff over here. Woo! So the last thing that we have to do is lag the crap out of the base. Yeah, so I'm not, not, not sure that uh, I would ever build a base exactly this way again. Uh, not in this game anyway, because it's so laggy. Um, it doesn't bother me too much unless I'm trying to leave my base. Whenever I leave, 
I end up chunking three or four times in a row. But yeah, so now we should have plenty of room for land stuff. So we're going to have like a tribe, a di uh, tribe. We're going to have like a, a pack of Rexes over there. We'll have a pack of Spinals over here and all kinds of other things. We don't really need this pen area anymore, but I'm going to leave it up for the time being. And I also think that I'm going to need another bridge out there, which we're going to probably just demolish this current bridge, this uh, old, very early in the season wood bridge. I did not pick up that Parasaur. Come on, Parasaur. Anyway. Man, I'm psyched. We have a place. We don't have to worry about things anymore. And I can leave stuff on Wander inside the walls. They can pick up uh, rocks and wood or whatever they do. You know, beavers is, is, is and whatnot. So it'll be an amazingly fun time. I hope you guys enjoyed the build today. I hope you enjoyed seeing the progress of the base. I know that a lot of you have been following it. And I hope that you're, you're psyched about, as psyched as I am about the opportunities that this land enclosure is going to bring for us. Uh, I'm definitely going to make some sort of kibble area-ish somewhere around here. But anyway, that's going to be it for today, folks. If you like the episode, please press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. If you have anything to say, do it in the comments below. And as always, be excellent to each other. Have a great day. See you later. That's right. Every time I zoom in, I do this thing. Because why not? Have a great day. See you later.